Hey YouTube, Last Source Rules here, and I've got a Yu-Gi-Oh! Return of the Bling, first edition. It's basically a booster box. Um, they come with, like, decks in here. It's not actually a deck, they're uh, packs, but they're all hollow foil cards. So, you get three packs of five cards in each of these. One of these comes with five, I got four. Open two already. And I'll show you the polls at the end to do a recap of all four boxes. But um, in this video, I'm going to be opening the two that I have not opened. So, took the plastic off. Just ready to get into these and see what we can get. Here are the, the polls I got from the first two boxes. Um, so, these are all gold secret rares and gold gold rares. They're all holographic cards. Um, really easy to, to make your money back on these. So. There's quite a few cards. There's 90 cards in the set and I'd say probably about 25, 30 of the cards you can um, are worth like 3 bucks each at least. And there's a couple that are worth 10 or 15 a piece. So you can read that if you'd like. You can get these at Walmart or online. I have one more of these coming in the mail I bought online. So I do have a five total boxes. Um, but I'd love to pull the Exodia. So in the first two, two uh, boxes, I didn't pull a single Exodia piece, which is upsetting. It seems like it's about a one in two boxes for an Exodia piece. So since I opened two already, and didn't get one, and I have two more here. I'd love to pull two Exodia pieces if I could. So this is what the pack looks like. Just a shiny gold packaging. Um, entire set includes 21 gold secret rares and 70 gold rare cards. So you get two gold secrets and three gold rares, hollows, out of the... Uh, each pack and there's three packs per box so let's get into this see if I can pull some new stuff and some of the expensive stuff uh, the expensive stuff basically I'm just gonna flip to pay for these boxes so I get the other cards out of them um, in one of the one of the boxes I did uh, pull probably the second most expensive card in the set it's like 12 to 15 bucks, um, and I did pull it, and my friend's actually going to buy it off me, so that pays for about one box itself, so that's pretty cool. You start, I'm going to sleeve each of these quickly. We have a Ring of Destruction, Secret Rare. Be back in a second. Sorry about that. My cat was climbing the screen. I had to get her off. Um, Santa Claus. This is a secret as well. So I guess the Ring of Destruction is a secret. No, it's not. Okay. Um, so Santa Claus is a secret. I don't have either of these yet, so that's sweet. This is a pretty cool looking card as well. Would love to complete the set, but I mean, it's not really as easy, I think, as people think. We have a cat shark. That's interesting looking. That one is a secret as well. The first 20 or 21 cards in the set are secrets. Um, you can read the number in the set they are right there. If I can get this up. Pretty cool. Three new cards so far. That's awesome. A f formula Shinron. Never seen that. It's like a race car. Um, that's a new one as well. It's a machine monster. That's pretty cool looking. And a mathematician. pretty awesome um yeah so you can pick these up like 
Walmart or eBay. Um, eBay, the prices vary a little bit, typically between 15 and 20 per box. But um, in stores, they're 15 if you can find them. So all five cards were brand new for me, though. That's awesome. I was getting a few doubles here and there in the other boxes, so that's sweet. Let's get into the pack two and see if we can get an Exodia piece. The head would be the perfect piece to start off with since it is the more expensive one. So. We have a number 95 Galaxy Eyes Dark Matter Dragon. That's a secret. That's actually... Um, one of the more expensive ones. That one's about four bucks. It's probably the most expensive secret. So that's really sweet. Nice. Happy to get new cards. Definitely. So. And a Blackwing Pinaki the Waxing Moon. I did pull this one already. So that's a double. So pretty cool cards, I mean, hollow foils, definitely. We have a Gores, the Emissary of Darkness, number 81, I'm just going to check and see if this is one of the more popular ones, it is not, but I don't have it yet, so that's cool. A rekindling spell card. Oh, that's another thing. I've been getting lots of uh, sp mat like spells and uh, trap cards in the other one, so I'm hoping for more monsters. But I don't have this yet either. That's cool. Number fifty-three. And my last gold for this pack is. Glow up bulb. Thirty three. Oh, that's actually one of the better ones. Let's say three dollar card as well. Cool. Um, these are off of Strike Zone online prices, which are actually cheaper than other places like Troll and Toad and eBay, I believe. Um so, like, most of these hollows are probably a buck or two a piece. I would think just every one at least would be a buck or two a piece. So, we're not doing too bad. See if we can get an Exodia piece, though. I'd love to get one here. Come on, baby. Part of the cards, guide me and bring me Exodia. I sold Bell of the Underworld. Sweet. Um, my friend is going to buy one of these off me as well, so that's cool. Nice to have a second one so I can keep one for myself. And a Dragocytus Corrupted Nether Soul Dragon. That thing has 4,000 attack. That is a crazy card. Love the artwork on that, though. Definitely pretty sweet. That's my second one of those. Smashing Ground. Trap Tricks. Mirror Melia and a Trap Tricks Diania. Diania. Um, value wise, I have don't know what these are off the top of my head. Um, 
like I said, I have a, a list next to me with anything that's priced that's three bucks or more or something, so. Um, but at the end of the video, when I do a recap, I'll definitely list off any of the more popular cards. So, no Exodia in that one, though. We did get a ton of new cards, though, which is awesome. So, let's finish with box four. And hope for the best. If I go four boxes without an Exodia piece, I'm going to be a little upset. Um, I mean, it shouldn't be that hard to pull on. So... Our three packs here. Let's get into this. Come on, baby. New stuff or something good. I know Reik Reikaki is probably the most expensive card in the set, which goes for about 15. I remember that came out originally in the LOB set, the first set to come out. Blackwing Chris the Crack of Dawn. That, I believe, is a new one for me as well. And that's another $3 one. Sweet. Easily making my money back here, so that makes me happy. A Blackwing Tamer Obsidian Hawk Joe. That's another basically $2 uh, secret. That's nice. Getting a ton of decent ones here. A My Body as a Shield. Number 74. This is a gold. Oh, baby, there it is. The most expensive card in the set. A Ray Gecky. That is so sweet. That paid for the entire box alone, this one card. So that's card number 48. Yeah, Strike Zone has it for 1350. It's like 15 or 16 on Troll and Toad. That is incredible. I guess this card isn't banned anymore, so they're printing it again. And we end off with a... Oh, 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 man. Can this pack get any better, guys? Alright. So let me explain this. We ended with a... The Valley... The Lava... Val Chain. This is uh, another one of the most expensive cards in the set. So... This pack right here, five cards... Gave me four of the pretty sought-after cards in the set... These two being thirteen to fifteen dollars a piece. It's pretty crazy. Um, so this pack alone on Strike Zone online prices is thirty-two bucks. On probably eBay prices is probably closer to forty. That's out of one pack that came out of a, a fifteen-dollar uh, box. So that's pretty insane. Not sure if I'm going to sell them or keep them yet, though. Um, I do want to get one of each card in the set. And I'm probably not too far away, but I still do need Exodia pieces. So There are three, three and a third uh, boxes in without an Exodia piece, which is odd. So let's see what we can do here. Hopefully you don't get too many duplicates in a box. But that's a nice pull again. Another Darkness Matter Dragon. Dark Dark Matter Dragon. Um, another, you know, 4 or $5 card. So, pretty awesome. That's my second one of those, so that's for sale. 4,000 attack as well. That's pretty insane. Number 21, Frozen Lady Justice. This one's not too valuable. It's like a buck or two. 
Call of the Haunted. I have that one as well. Probably another dollar or two card. These are hollow foil though, that's gold lettering. Ceasefire. That one is, I didn't have that. I used to have it from an older set when it came out. That's new for my collection. And the Grand Spellbook Tower, number 57, is another card that's at least three, two, two and a half, three bucks, so not too bad. Pretty awesome. Um, too bad I'm not pulling, you know, the one set of things I want. <laughs> but these pulls are pretty insane, so. I don't know, my friend says he's got the Exodia set and he's going to trade them to me anyway, so. Works for me. I just prefer to pull them so I can grade them. I want to keep a graded Gem Mint 10 set for myself, so. We're going to kiss it for good luck for the final pack. So, this is four boxes now. This is pack number 12. Let's see if we can get an Exodia piece to end off. We have a Blackwing Nothung the Starlight, number 13. Is another $2 plus secret. Sweet. A Hand of Masked Hero Anki. This is another $3 secret rare. I've actually pulled three of these now. Gonna throw the a couple extra ones up and get some money back out of them. So that's pretty insane. That's a secret, by the way. Hand of Dark Hole. That is a brand new card as well. Um, let's see what this one goes for. doesn't say it's probably a cheaper one but I didn't have it yes we pulled an Exodia piece guys we have a right arm of the forbidden one finally it took four of these things to do it so happy to finally get one you know these are only like five bucks a piece but still I'd love to pull them rather than buy them as singles because they're minty fresh this way so one down. I only have four to go now. Quite a few to go, um, which is annoying, but I'm so happy I at least got one. And we end off with a foolish burial. Not bad. Not bad at all, anybody. So, yeah, this was pretty insane. Um, I mean, this box alone, let's see, 2, 5, let's say 6, 10, 11, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, yeah, this, this one box netted me $50 worth of cards, it's pretty insane. That's the best one I've actually opened so far, so. I don't think every single box is that good. Um, since there are some cheap cards in the set, and then there are some expensive cards in the set, so. I'm going to get more of these. Um, continue to buy them. I mean, they're cheap enough. And with the chance of pulling at Exodia pieces, I mean, it's totally worth it. Especially when they're hollows and they're ultra rare card so i hope everybody enjoyed um i'll do a recap right after this and i'll attach it to the end of the video so please give a thumbs up if you enjoyed thanks so much for watching and stay tuned to see everything i pulled in these four boxes bye guys hey youtube so here's my recap this was pretty insane from four boxes i went through prices and uh just for everything that i didn't have written down that was, you know, for two, two and a half bucks or more, um, I put in a buck a piece, and I pulled $150 worth of cards, and I spent 
fraction of that. I spent uh, 57. So here are my secrets, my gold secrets. We have Absolute King Backjack. I got two of those. I got a Rose Paladin. Blackwing Chris Crack of Dawn. This one's about three bucks or so. A Pinnakee the Walking Moon. I got two of those. Uh, Cerberus. A Bell of the Underworld. We got two of those. Um, my friend wants one, so I'm going to make two or three bucks back for one of these. Which is sweet. Mask Hero Anki. This is a, one of the better secrets as well. Um, the price on this keeps changing. I actually pulled three in four boxes. Uh, Strike Zone has them at three bucks, but eBay they might be high. So three of those, pretty awesome, at about three bucks or so a piece. Continuing on with secrets, we have Blackwing Tamer. This one's about two, and this one's about two. And then we have uh, Draxitos, another Soul Dragon. Surprised this one isn't more valuable, but it's super uh, high attack, 4,000. And it is badass looking. I pulled two of those. Number 2095, Galaxy and Dragon. Galaxy Eyes, Dark Matter Dragon. Um, two of these. These uh, would go for 7 to 10 for the pair, so that's pretty awesome. I got one extra that I can sell there and make some money back as well. A cat shark, number 21, Frozen Lady Justice, two of those. You see doubles, uh, they are for sale, by the way, as I only need one of each, obviously, for myself. Um, Parallel Twister, Stardust Respark, and Santa Claus. It's a gargoyle looking thing. So those are the secrets, uh, pretty sweet. I only ended up missing out on five of the secrets out of the 21 in the set, so not too bad. And for the secrets as well, uh, I pulled all the expensive ones. The five that I think I didn't pull are all cheap, so that's one plus right there that I can just buy the ones I'm missing for really cheap. Next, my Ultras, my Gold Ultras. Um, so, finally, I did get one Exodia piece in the final box. Really sweet. So happy that I was able to at least pull one. Definitely keeping that. I'm going to grade it. Hopefully it gets a 10. Going to wait till I get the set, though, before I grade them. Uh, Dandelion. Oh, but, um... This Exodia piece, uh, the head goes for 10 bucks. this arm goes for 5 I guess, so this is the second most expensive one. I guess it's the second most expensive to, to pull, I suppose. Somehow I pulled it. Dandelion. Two of those. A Mystical Beast of Circuit. This is a sweet looking card, definitely keeping that. Probably going to grade it. Love the artwork on that card. It's so sweet. A glow up bulb. That's a three dollar card as well. Uh, Trap tricks. Mirrors. Mirrors. Mellow. Mathematician. Trap tricks. Diania. Dian. Sorry if I'm butchering names on these. Just getting back into Yu-Gi-Oh. So. One of the most expensive cards in the set. A. Lava Viola Chain. Gold foil holographic card. That is a thirteen to fifteen dollar card, so pretty impressed with that. That pack was insane that I pulled this in. I also pulled a number one oh one. Silent Honor Arc. It's one of the XYZ pieces. Um this one goes for twelve to fifteen as well. I actually pulled this in the first box, and uh, my friend co-worker is going to buy this off me, so that's going to 
pay for basically another one box just for that card. Hopefully I'll pull another one in the future sometime where I can keep one for my set, but I'd rather be able to open more of these and get more cards and hopefully more Exodia pieces. So, Regeki, the best card in the set, most expensive card in the set. Goes for roughly 15 bucks. Pretty insane. That came out of the same pack as that uh, Laval card, so it was pretty, pretty sweet. That was one hell of a pack, I gotta tell you guys. Advanced Ritual Art. And we got three Foolish Burials. Don't know how I got three of some cards in four boxes. That's pretty odd. When I didn't get even one of several other cards. A Charge of Light Brigade. This one has a print line going across it, so it has a misprint. Rekindling. Pot of Duality, that's a pretty playable card as well. That's another $3 card. The Grand Spellbook Tower is another uh, $2 plus dollar card. Um, not bad. I mean, Strike Zone has it for two and a quarter. It's probably a little more expensive on eBay, you would think. Um, and obviously, these are all mint. They're not near mint. These are literally packed fresh to a sleeve, so... The prices on these even go up for mintier cards. Rank up. Seize fire. Ring of destruction. I didn't realize that this was actually more expensive than I thought it was. This is a $5 hollow card as well. So that's pretty sweet. Always wanted one of those. Um, when I was a kid when the set came out. I don't remember what set it was. I think it was like. Legacy and Nightmare or something like that. But I'm not positive. Um, Solemn Warning. That's a $3 card as well. My friend wants this as well. I don't know if I'm going to buy him one or sell the copy I have. Not sure yet. I'll probably sell it and probably pull another one in the future sometime. Trap Tricks. Trap Hole. A the one pretty expensive or two pretty expensive cards I missed out on the set like in the of the top five were Crush Card Virus and Exodia's Head so um hopefully in the future I can pull them I mean I'm definitely after the Exodia so we have a Veal of Darkness or Vile Veal uh, Blackwing Gale of Whirlwind, My Body is a Shield, Smashing Ground, Doom Caliber Knight, this one's really cool looking, love the artwork on that, this is an insane card, I don't know why this is so cheap, we have a Five Headed Dragon, also known as the Five God Dragon, really super stoked to have that, I'm going to grade that for sure, love that card. Uh, Gore's Emissary of Darkness. Did not pull a Blue Eyes either, which is another one that I really wanted, but probably do it in the future sometime. And, uh, my friend said he'll trade it, so he pulled one. A Naturia Beast. Formula Function. Dark Hole. And... Not one, but two Call of the Haunted. So, uh, yeah, that was pretty insane. I also pulled this and I, uh, I bought four blisters of two different sets. Um, and I pulled a couple other supers and a non hollow pack. Two new Challengers packs and two Secrets of Eternity from retail. Um, but that's a secret, uh, Yazi Evil, the Yang Zing from, uh, the new Challengers. My friend wants me to order him one of those, too. I'm like, I'm not selling this one. I'm keeping it. So that's a secret, uh, pretty good one. Not too many expensive cards in the set besides Denku Seka. Um, 
This card's only like six bucks, but still a pretty awesome looking card. So that was all four boxes, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Pretty insane. I can't uh, wait to get some more of these and hopefully finish the set in the future and uh, be able to supply some other you know players with some good cards at decent prices. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, and if you did, please thumbs up the video. Have a great day, wherever you are in the world. See you later, guys. Bye.